We've been graphing lines for the last few lessons, and now what I want to do is give you the line, and now we're going to write the equation. So we're just doing the opposite of what we've done in the past. So you can see in the first example, they've given us a line. They told us the slope, and then they've also put a dot where it hits the y-axis. And remember, the formula in slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. m stands for the slope and B stands for the intercept. So that I'm just going to plug in what I know. The slope is negative 3 over 2. X plus the intercept, which is 5. Done. Next question. If you want to try it on your own, go for it. Um, in the formula, Y equals MX plus B. The slope is 5 over 3 x, and I could write plus negative 3, which is the y-intercept, but the best way to write that is y equals 5 thirds x minus 3. And that's all you do. Example 2, write an equation. So look at this line. Which equation in a, b, c, or d looks like it's going to match? Well, it's horizontal, so it's going to say y equals, and d is crossed out because it says y equals, but when you have a horizontal line, it's just y equals a number. There's no x, so d is crossed out. So what is the y equal to? Is the y equal to negative 4, negative 3, or 0? Are all the points on this line, what do they have in common? What they have in common is that their y value is negative 4. So it's choice A. Example 3. The graph shows the distance remaining to complete a tunnel. First, we have to write an equation that represents the distance remaining after X months. So we have to find the slope, and we have to find the y-intercept. Well, the y-intercept is right here at 0, 3,500. And so now I have to get the, the slope. I'm sorry, the intercept is at 3,500, and now we have to get the slope. So I'm going to start at the intercept, and I'm going to go down and to the right. But you, it's not down. It looks like it's down four boxes, but four boxes doesn't mean four. You have to pay attention to the numbers on the side, because four boxes is really 2,000. So the slope is negative 2,000. And then this is 4, because it's going by 1s. So that's positive 4. So the slope is negative 2,000 over 4, which reduces to negative 500. So the slope is negative 500. Put that all together in a formula. y equals negative 500 x plus 3,500. Letter B, how much time does it take to complete the tunnel? Well, the tunnel is completed when there's no distance remaining. So when there's no distance remaining, I'm right here at the point 70, which means seven months will have passed when the tunnel is complete. We're going to practice this more in class. If you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you see me next.